Hi, my name is Ashley Sher. I'm the founder and CEO of Share Love Fund. We are gonna do some arm stretches today. So let's inhale, arms up, and exhale, shake it all out. We'll do some backstroke and some front stroke. Really feeling long and strong. You can do this seated or sitting on the edge of the bed or in a chair. You can also do this walking. If you feel more comfortable standing, you can kind of walk around and do this. And this is a good stretch for the shoulders, the back, increasing circulation to the arms. Let's inhale our arms up again. Shake it all out and inhale, arm across the side body. And let's breathe here for a few minutes and or a few breaths, relaxing the shoulder and really stretching the arm, keeping the torso long and strong. Inhaling light and love and exhaling all that doesn't serve you. Shake it out and inhale on the other side. Inhaling light and love and exhaling all that doesn't serve you. Shake it out. You can inhale and hold the shoulder. And here you can stretch your arm, but you can also stretch the side body of your torso, leaning over a little bit. Breathing in light and love, finding space and the tightness through your breath. And exhaling all that tightness all that doesn't serve you. You can shake it out. And on the other side, stretch with the elbow and the side body. Inhaling light and love and exhaling all that doesn't serve you. There, now we'll get up and we'll um, do an exercise for the shoulder called stirring the pot. So you can lean up against something. If you have something to lean up against, you can also um, do it on the floor. We're just gonna kind of pretend we're stirring the pot. So we'll stir one way. And you can think of your breath as a circle, fluid in and out, and try to connect your breath with the pot you're stirring. This is good for circulation. We'll stir the pot on the other side. And this is also a good warm up before you get into um, a deeper workout. Shake it out. And then we'll stir the pot on the other side. Connecting our breath with our arm motion, maybe slower. And stir the pot the other way. And this really loosens up the shoulders. Connecting our breath, thinking of it as a circle. So while you stir the pot, you can really think of your breath, the inhale and exhale, continuous. We'll now do um, some shoulder circles. So we did the swimming. Now we'll do it more subtle. Rolling our shoulders back with the breath. Rolling our shoulders forward.
give one arm a tug and pull, feeling the stretch on our backside body, trying to relax the shoulder. Give our arm a tug on the other side. Noticing each side, how it feels. You can get a deeper shoulder stretch with a forward fold. If you feel comfortable, you can um, raise your arms and get kind of a shoulder stretch with this forward fold. If it feels better, you can bend your knees. Feeling your shoulders open up a bit. Breathing here. If your legs are straight, you can get a hamstring stretch as well. You can kind of lean one side, the other. Get a little deeper stretch. Coming back down, we'll roll our shoulders to one side. To the other. You can do some arm swings to really feel limber. Shaking it out, a little wave, whatever feels good. And thinking about the movement and connecting with the breath. Yoga really just means breath with movement. So we can rainbow our arms up and rainbow our arms across. Really just getting circulation in these areas. You can revisit this stretch. Some people, if they feel comfortable, they may want to reach their hand around and grab their hand, stretch on the other side. Inhaling the arms up, you can point your fingers to the top and be a compass to one side, a compass to the other. With yoga, we have the benefit that we can stretch both sides of the body evenly and just feel really good while we're doing it. Thank you for your time today. Namaste.